browser. And now we try it. Hey presto, look at that. Nice, pretty URLs. Let's just go to another one. FAQs, look at that. Nice. And everything works. Pat yourself on the back, you're a very clever kid. And we're just about done. It's two more real quick things I want to show you that we often get, um, or I often see in uh, in um, a Joomla installations uh, on the forums, people get a little more, a little wrong. Maybe three more things I'll, I'll go over. Uh, the first one is um, uh, it's a great idea. In, in fact, in fact, I'm happy to be wrong on this, but I, I think this alone is one of the best security measures you can take to um, reduce the chance of your Joomla site ever being hacked, and it's a real easy one. What you want to do is go to Site User Manager and you want to click on Administrator and all you want to do is just change the username of the administrator um, account. Now the administrator account won't change just because you it won't you know somehow muck up the uh, the sequence of records. All it is is the actual name apply, uh, assigned to the unique ID that is the super admin account. So I'm going to change mine to, uh, you can change it to whatever you like, Mary, um, um, Mary had a little lamb, if you wanted to, uh, you know, you might want to make it something a bit easier to type than that, I don't know, your favourite, um, I don't know, Homer, there you go, Let's favourite cartoon character, uh, Homer, uh, leave everything else the same, you can even um, make this say, you know, uh, Big Boss. Click on Save. Oh, and of course, I already had something in there, so we'll just retype that. Uh, pass, pass. Uh, we've still got it as set as Super Administrator. Click on Save. So now when we uh, log out, <coughs> and, t and go back in, now we have to type in Homer and pass and there we are it's such a good idea and use something obscure use something that only you you use um, and that way it's just one extra step that a um, a potential uh, you know a hacker particularly script kiddies particularly people just sniffing around uh, it's one extra step they have to take to get into your site it's a great idea it's and it's simple Okay. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to show you is um, uh, let's show you how it happens. We uh, go to User Manager and we set a new password. Uh, in fact, you know what? Uh, I'm going to do this. <coughs> I'm going to go and I'm going to set a really long password. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to paste it in there. Woohoo! Click save. Bingo, we're away. Uh, I'm going to log out. Uh, sorry, log out. Then we go to Homer. And what was my old, what was that password? Was it something like that? No, password does not match. And I'm going to spend the next 15 minutes trying to remember where it was. And I'm going to panic. So if that's happened to you, there's no need to panic uh, because on your local account, in fact, on most hosting accounts, commercial hosting accounts, you have access to PHP MyAdmin. So we're going to go to localhost, PHP MyAdmin. We're going to log in using the root password. Here's our new uh, database that we've created, my Joomla site. And we're going to scroll down to users. Here it is. I'm going to click on the little button that allows us to browse the records of the users and one of them just happens to be Homer and it's got the ID of 62, that's always the uh, the first default user <coughs> and we click on edit here's the password, oh there it is, no problem I'll just copy that and log in, right? wrong <laughs> can I just simply type in a new password here? wrong the reason you can't is because Joomla hashes what's called, well, it, it basically encrypts it, but it, it puts a hash over the password. So you can't just simply type in your new password here. 
uh, I used to post in um, in uh, forums that you used to, you know, there's places where you can convert hashes, passwords to hashes, and yada yada yada. However, there's a much easier way uh, that someone showed me, and I didn't know. And once they showed me, I thought, how silly was I? What you can do is just select here the function on the password. Just select MD5. Okay. Now type your new password here. Make sure you highlight all of it. Type in your new password here. Pass. Okay. Leave it as MD5. And what that's going to do is hash pass. Now I won't go into what hashing is, but essentially it's going to encrypt it. So now if we go back in there, we see that it's certainly not what I just typed in there. And now if I go back to the administrator, Homer, and pass, log in, hey presto, we are there. Nice one. And now I could go in, I mean, <coughs> really I could set my whole new password from here if I wanted to, <coughs> but just for the point of, you know, being able to log back in again, you could just simply go in and type in your password. So that's about it. So listen, I hope you've enjoyed uh, this demo. I'm going to be doing uh, a number more of these. In fact, I'm hoping to create an entire series on this stuff because, um, well, I'm pretty active on the forum and, and I love doing that, but it is uh, it can be a little frustrating and a little time consuming for everyone involved when I have to answer the same questions uh, you know, five times a week. So uh, for the safe, for the sake of everyone's sanity and also for the sake of getting the information out there quicker, I'm going to do a, a number of these type of videos based on, you know, typical um, user responses. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks for listening and uh, feel free to email me with any other questions. Norm Douglas at gmail.com. Thank you.